Now I want to say this first you are loved by God. Nataka kusema hivi ya kwanza mmependwa na Mungu. God think about you all the time. You know, even when you are sleeping, wakati hata unapolala, God is thinking of you. Mungu anakuwaza wewe. In Isaiah 49 verse 15, katika kitabu cha Isaiah sura ya 14 na 9, mstari wa 10, there is says that can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Those she may forget. I will not forget you. Inasema kwamba ijapokuwa mama aweza kumsahau mtoto kwenye gari lake, lakini mimi Mungu wenu siwezi nikawasahau. God is a God of love. Mungu ni Mungu wa upendo. How many mothers are here? Ni wangapi? Ni wangapi wako hapa na ni wa mama wananyonyesha wako na watoto? Wewe unaitwa mama, ina maana kwamba uko na mtoto. Leo uko na tuo. Now, have you forgotten your baby somewhere? Sometime? Ushawahi enda mahali ukaondoka pale ukamsahau mwanao pale? I'm sure you have the picture of me and the people. Have you forgotten your baby somewhere? Ushawahi msahau mwanao mahali popote? Hapana. No, you won't, right? Haiwezekani. And because God loves you so much, he has put so much love in you, na kwa sababu Mungu anawapenda zaidi na ameegeza upendo wake ndani mwenu zaidi. So you never forget your babies. Kwa hivyo hamwezi mkawasahau watoto wenu. And God never forgets you. Na Mungu pia hawezi akakusahau. God always think of you. Mungu kila wakati anakuwaza. And God is a God of hope. Na Mungu ni Mungu wa matumaini. He gives hope to every single person. Anampa kila mtu tumaini. Now many people say I have no use. Watu wengi wanasema kwamba mimi sio wa maana. I have no money. Mimi sina pesa. I cannot do much. Siwezi nikafanya mambo mengi. But God's heart is like this. Lakini nao moyo wa Mungu uko hivi. No matter how small all you are haijalishi wewe ni mdogo kimo kipi no matter how an, an, an important you are haijalishi wewe ni mtu wa muhimu sampuli gani no matter how poor you are haijalishi wewe ni maskini zaidi when you trust in god unapomwamini mungu god is very happy with you mungu anafuraha na wewe and he'll bless you na atakubariki zaidi Whatever little thing you do for God, na chacho tukile kidogo ambacho unamfanya mungu, God will remember it. Mungu ataikumbuka, and He'll reward you. Na atakulipa. Jesus said, if you give a give a cup of cold water to another one, you will never, you know, you you by no means you lose the reward. Yesu akasema kuamba, ijapokuwa utampa mtoto mdoki kumbi chama jibariti, mungu hata sahau atakuona. That means even when you do little things for God, ina manisha kwamba ukifanya kitu kidogo kwa mungu. God is very happy with you. Mungu anafuraha na wewe. Our God is easy to please. Na mungu wetu ni mungu raisi wa kufraisha. When you repent to Him, unapo tubu damizako. He is very happy to forgive you. Mungu anafuraha ya kukusamehe. When you pray to Him, unapo muomba. He is very happy to to listen to you. When you love him, he will put you in a high place. And he will give honor to you. And when you serve him, even when you do a lot of things, God is very happy with you. So it's very easy to please God. Now when you you try to please people. Unapo jaribu kuwa pendeza na kufraisha wanada. Maybe you try to please your husband or your wife. Kwa mfano na jaribu kumpendeza mkeo au mmeo. 
Even when you do something good, Ata unapofanya kitu kizuri, they might say you have some other thing you did not do. Wakati mwingine hata ijapokuwa umejaribu kufanya kadri ya uwezo wako, lakini anasema kwamba kuna vitu vingine nao hujafanya. Na labda pia anaweza akakukasirikia. But God is never like that. Lakini Mungu hayupo hivyo. Amen. Do a little thing for God. Unapofanya kitu kidogo kwa ajili ya Mungu. Even the cup of cold water. Hata kikombe kidogo cha maji bali. He is very happy to bless you. Yaani Mungu anafuraha kukubariki. So every day you say to yourself. Kwa hivyo ninaamini kwamba kila siku utajizungumzia. When you are doing anything for God. Chochote unachomfanyia Mungu. God is very happy. Mungu anafuraha and God will reward me. Na Mungu atanipa dha and God will bless me. Na Mungu atanibariki. So every day you say, Kila siku utasema, I can be happy in the Lord. Mimi ninadunda Mwenyezi. Now this song is in English. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Kuna wimbo katika kingereza unao sema frahia katika bwana kila siku tuna nasema frahia. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. understand God. Watu wengi wamekosa kumwelewa Mungu. They thought God is like their father. Wanafikiri kwamba Mungu ni kama baba yao wa dunia hii. Who always get angry easily. Ambaye huwa anakasirika kila wakati. And some people may think God is like a policeman. Na watu wengine wanaweza kufikiria kwamba Mungu ni kama askari. Who always watch over Another bad thing you do. Ambaye anakuchunga makosa yote madogo unayofanya. You know when we come to God, unajua wakati tunapomjia Mungu, whenever we have sinned, popo tunapotenda dhambi, we ask God to forgive you. Tunaomba Mungu atusamehe. And he's very happy to forgive you. Na Mungu anafuraha kukusamehe. Whenever you love him, na unapoendelea kumpenda, he's very happy with you. Mungu anakuwa na furaha na wewe. Whenever you serve God, unapomtumikia Mungu, he's very happy. Mungu anafuraha. So every day I hope you say to yourself, kwa hivyo kila Siku na amini utajizungumzia. I love God. God is very happy with me. Useme napo mpenda mungu, mungu na nipenda. When I serve God, God is very happy with me. Napo mtumikia mungu, mungu na fraisho na mimi. So every day I can be happy. Kwa hivyo kila siku unaweza kuwa na furaha. I can enjoy life. Unaweza kusherekea hata maisha. No matter how bad the people are. Haijalishi watu ni wabaya kiwango kipi. Always remember God is thinking of me. Wewe kumbuka kwamba Mungu anafikiri kukuuza. And God is happy with me. Na Mungu anafuraha kwa ajili yako. God wants to bless me. Na Mungu anataka kukubariki. You always have strength. Na hiyo utakuwa na nguvu kila siku. Hallelujah. God is wonderful. Mungu ni wa ajabu. Now today I want to talk about the Holy Spirit. Nataka kuzungumza kuhusu Roho Mtakatifu. Especially You know the Holy Spirit is wonderful. Unajua Roho Mtakatifu ni ajabu. God is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Ni Mungu, Baba, Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. You know the Holy Spirit gives us joy and peace and love. Roho Mtakatifu anatupa amani, furaha na upendo. 
and we can experience God. Na tunaweza tukahisi uwepo wa Mungu. Amen. In 1998, katika mwaka wa 1998. I've been a Christian for 28 years. I've been a Christian for 28 years. I've been a pastor for 15 years. Na I've been a Christian for 15 years. Amen. And then an evangelist came from Argentina to Hong Kong. Na tulikuwa na muinjilisti alia toka katika inji Argentina kaenda kwa Hong Kong. And he laid hand on many people and including me. Na sasa aliwawekea watu wengi mikono pia yeya kiwa ndani. The moment he touched me. Alipo muwekea mkono wake. I felt great power like electricity enter me. Alisikia mguvu kama zile za umeme zika muingia ndani mwake. I felt great love fall into me. Na sasa akaisi upendo mwingi ukimutere mkia. So powerful. Ukawa wanguvu zaidi. I cry for a long time. Akalia kwa muda mrefu. Not because of sad. Sio kwa sababu alikuwa mekasirika Because of joy Kwa sababu ya furaha I experience his love Na akahisi upendo wake It was like in heaven Alikuwa ni kana kuwa mba mefika mbinguni And I say God this is wonderful Aka sema mungu ini ya ajabu I didn't know I can experience God like that Siku jua kwa mba naweza kumuhisi mungu kiwa nguhiki And I said I never knew I can build up such a close relationship with God To experience him like that Na aka sema kwa mba hakuwa jua Anaweza kujenga uusiano wake ukawe karibu sana na mungu And I fell in love with God Na sasa aka sia kwa mba kwa katika ndani ya upendo na mungu All day long I will be loving God Kila siku and as I spend more time loving him, I found that any time I think of Jesus, I Gundua kwa mba kila wakati anapo fikiri kuhusu Kristo Yesu. His joy will come to me. Furaha yake inabubujika. Anytime I say Jesus, wakati anapo tamuka neno Yesu, furaha inabubujika. His joy will come to me. His power will go through me. Na hata nguvu zake zinaenda ndani mwake. My spiritual life was totally changed. Maisha yake ya kiroho ya libadilishwa kwa mpigo. I spent a long time loving him. Na haka chukua mda mwini kumpenda mungu. And I enjoy loving him. Na haka burudika kumpenda mungu. I enjoy the presence of God. Haka upenda ule upendo wa mungu. I'm strengthened by the presence of God. Na yeye haka badilishwa kwa ajili ya upendo wa mungu. And any time I pray to him. Na kile wakati na po muomba. I will have joy. Atakuwa na furaha And love and power Atakuwa na upendo na nguvu You know in the past I had fear Unajua siku za kune nyuma Alikuwa na uoga I had bad dreams Alikuwa na ndoto mbaya za kutisha Because when I was young my father and my mother divorced Manake alipo kuwa mtuto mchanga Babake na mamake waliachana Walitala kiana And then when my stepmother came Na sasa mamake wakambo alipo kuja There was a lot of yelling and beating in the family Sasa Mamaki wakama alikuwa na mtesa na mchapa mpaka na mnyima hata chakula. And I started to have bad dreams. Na sasa hakaanza kuwa na ndoto mbaya. And I also walk in my dream. Na yeye alikuwa naota mpaka anamuka kutembea kufanya kazi katika ndoto. And even after I became a pastor. Na sasa hata alipo kuwa mchungaji. But after I experienced the Holy Spirit, lakini sasa alipo jazwa roho mtakatifu. The Holy Spirit set me free. Roho mtakatifu akamweka huru. Amen. And it gradually heal me. Na upendo wa mungu na mponya tu. Let me ask you, how many of you are sad sometimes or angry sometimes? Hebu ni waulizi. Ni wangapi wakati mingine wa nakasirika wa nauzunika? How many of you are sometimes sad or unhappy or angry? Can you raise your hand? Kama wakati mingine unakasirika, unauzunika, hebu ukabibe mikono jamani. Sikila mtu unakasirika. Ayo, sikabibe mikono tui. Okay. Wow, every one of you. Because we have bad experience, bad and bad emotions sometimes. Ni kwa shababu tumepitia vipindi vibaya na pia isia zetu zikawa mbaya. But when we experience God, lakini tunapo, tunapo kuwa na uzoevu wa mungu. His peace and love will 
heal us. Upendo wake na amani yake itatuponya. Chapter 61, 1 to 3. It says the Holy Spirit will come to heal the broken hearted. <laughs> And give us the oil gladness instead of mourning. Na amekuja kutupa moyo wa furaha usio kuwa moyo wa kilio. So every day when you wake up, kwa hivyo kila siku unapoamka, you immediately think of Jesus. Na unaanza kuanza kuhusu Kristo Yesu. I love Jesus. Unasema ninampenda Yesu. And not just say with your mouth na sio tu kusema kwa sababu ni kusema tu but your whole heart flow to Jesus lakini moyo wako wote tumekeza kwa Mungu yes and joy will fill your heart. Upenda wa Mungu na furaha ya Mungu itajaza moyo wako. And then you will heal more and more. Na utaendelea kuponywa vidonda vyako vyote. And one thing very important. Na kitu kingine ambacho ni cha muhimu. Don't eat garbage from people. Usikule takataka kutoka kwa watu. There are always people who get angry with you. Kuna watu ambao kazi yao ni kuja kukasirisha. Who yell at you? Wanakuja kupigia kelele. Who say unpleasant things to you? Wanakuja kuongea kukuongea maneno mabaya kukuhusu. Yeah. Now it could be your husband. Inawezekana <laughs> labda ni mmeo. It could be your children. Inawezekana labda ni watoto wako. Could be the people around you. Inawezekana labda ni majirani. Now when they say out the sinful nature, wanapoongea mambo yote mabaya kinyume kukuhusu, do we have to take it? Je, sisi tuyachukue yale maneno tuyakamate? Hapana. So when they say something unpleasant, kwa hivyo wanapoongea jambo lolote ambalo ni baya, in our heart with this son katika moyo wako unapambanua this person has a lot of anger huyu mtu ana hasira nyingi let me ask you hebu niwaulize those people who have anger and frustration do they change easily watu ambao wako na hasira na mawazo mabaya hao watu ni rahisi kuwabadilisha kweli do they change easily wanabadilika haraka no no because they have sinful nature. Kwa sababu ndani mwao bado wako na ile dhambi ya asili. They control by sin. Yaani wao wanaongozwa na dhambi. Unless if they are changed by Jesus. Kama hawawezi kubadilishwa na Kristo Yesu, if not they always have anger and frustration. Basi wataendelea kuishi tu katika kukasirika na kukasirisha watu wengine. If they hurt you years ago, do they continue to hurt you now? Kwa sababu watakuchokoza miaka zilizopita, wataendelea kuchokoza hata saa hizi. So do we have to take it? Je, how I want to? So, so we say it doesn't matter. Maneno yote wanaoongea inapokufikia unasema haijalishi. When he says you are useless, anaposema wewe sio mtu wa muhimu, do I become useless? Sasa kwa sababu amesema kwamba wewe ni mpumbavu, unakuwa mpumbavu. When they say you are dumb, wakisema kwamba wewe ni bubu, do you become dumb? Sasa unakuwa bubu unashindwa kuongea. If they say I don't like you, wana posema sikupendi. Does God stop to like you? J, mungu atawacha kukuwacha kwa sababu wao hawakupenda. So any negative words from people, or even maneno kinyume na yatoka kwenye watu wengine, are from the sinful nature. Ina toka kwenye hali yao ya zambi. And from Satan, na ina toka kwa shetani. Do we have to eat them? J, tu kule maneno yao yale. So remember this: don't eat garbage. Kumbuka hili, usikule. Don't think about the bad things they say. Yani maneno yale mabaya wanao yasema ndiyo takataka. Kwa hivyo wewe usiafikiri kuhusu. Think about the good things God said. Lakini fikiri kuhusu maneno mazuri ambayo Mungu anasema. Think about how God always loves us. Hebu fikiria vile Mungu anavyotupenda. And always think about the good things of Christians of other people around you. Na hebu fikiria mambo mazuri ambayo wakristo wenzako wamekutendea. Then inside you you have more and more joy. Na sasa ndani mwako utaendelea kuishi katika furaha. When people are yelling you, wakati mtu anapokupigia kelele, you say okay, thank you for reminding me. Unamwambia asante kunikumbusha. I work on it. Nitalishughulikia hilo jambo. I try to do better. Nitajaribu kufanya vyema. And don't get angry. Na wewe usikasirike. Amen. Now it's not easy to do. Najua sio rahisi kufanya hivyo because we have a desire to revenge. Kwa sababu sisi 
Tuko na ile taswira ya kwamba mtu akikuchokoza akikutusia tusi utafanya nini utamrudishia yeah. tusi yeah. when they do something to us we want to revenge yani anapokurushia neno nzito pia unatafuta lile nzito la kabisa unafanya nini unamrushia the more we revenge the more anger we have kwa hivyo kila wakati unapoendelea kurudishia na majibu mazito mazito ndipo unaendelea kuwa na hasira lakini ukisema kwamba maneno ya wanao ongea haijiandiki kwa mgongo wangu kwa hivyo haijalishi No problem. Ah unawaambia hakuna shida, ongeeni tu siku mtalala. Yote unayosema, what they say just stay in the air for less than one second. Yaani maneno wanayoongea itakuwa hapa hewani kwa muda mchache tu na inapotea. I don't have to think, think about it. Kwa hivyo wewe usiendelee kuifikiria kuihusu. I just let it go. Unaiwachilia inaenda na upepo. I want to remember this. Lakini ukumbuke hili. Today I talk about Remember the love of God. Leo nazungumza kuhusu kumbuka upendo wa Mungu. He's happy with us all the time. Kwa sababu Mungu anafuraha na wewe kila wakati. Jesus loves us all the time. And Yesu anakupenda kila wakati. And all the bad things of people, na mambo mengine mabaya ya watu wote, don't think about it. Usiyafikirie kuyahusu. Don't remember it. Usiyakumbuke. Forget it. Isahau put it down. Weka chini. But we love them. Lakini tuwapende. We want to be kind to them to change them. Tuwe watu wazuri kwao ili tuwabadilishe. Not to teach them, sio kuwafundisha, but to be kind to them, gradually to change them. Lakini kuwa watu wema kwao kwa udo kwa kwa njia polepole utawabadilisha. And spend more time loving God. Na chukua muda wako mwingi ukimpenda Mungu. Jesus I love you. Yesu nakupenda. Yesu I love you. Yesu nakupenda. I want you Lord. Nakutaka Bwana. I need you Jesus. Nakuhitaji Yesu. Then you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit more and more. Utajana Roho Mtakatifu kwa wingi zaidi. And then when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, na sasa ukishajana na Roho Mtakatifu. And take care of your sins. Na dhambi zako umezishughulikia. And then you pray for people. Na unawaombea watu. Many people will experience a peace, love, joy of the holy spirit what wengi wataanza kuhisi upendo amani na upendo wa mungu and then you ask them na unawauliza have you experienced anything during the prayer je umehisi jambo lolote katika maombi and then if they say yes i've experienced peace na akisema kwamba kwa kweli nimehisi amani then we say yes jesus give you peace utamwambia kwamba yesu amekupa amani if you see this burdens go away kama anasikia kwamba mizigo imeondolewa then we tell them jesus took away all the burdens utamwambia kwamba yesu alikuja kutubebea mizigo yetu and then when they say i am healed inside na akisema kwamba nimeponywa ndani ya moyo wangu then we say jesus came to heal the broken heart Unamwambia Yesu alikuja kuponya wale waliobondeka mioyo zao. And then if they experience demons driven out. Na kama wanahisa kwamba wamefunguliwa mapepo yameondolewa. And then we say Jesus said go and drive out demons in my name. Unamwambia Yesu alitupa mamlaka ya kwenda kuwafukuza mapepo wacha. And then if they are healed of the sickness. Na sasa kama wameponywa magonjwa. And then we say the Bible says later on the sick and they will be healed. Tunamwambia kwamba Yesu alisema tuwawekee wagonjwa mikono na watapona. We tell them if you have experienced God like that. Na unamwambia kama umehisi Mungu kwa njia hiyo. Do you want God to continue bless you? Je, Mungu alipenda Mungu aendelee kukubariki? If they If they want to be blessed by Jesus, kama wangelitaka wanataka kubarikiwa na Kristo Yesu, then we'll say, can I pray for you? Utawaambia ungelipenda ni kwa kuombe. To accept Jesus as your savior. Ili ukamkubali Yesu kwa mwokozi wa maisha yako. When you confess your sins, unapokiri dhambi zako and trust in Jesus as your savior, na kuamini Kristo Yesu kwa mwokozi wa maisha yako, you have eternal life. Wewe uko na uzima wa milele. So, now I'm going to pray for Two persons who want who want a strong anointing of Jesus to come for us demonstrate to you how to pray for people. Nataka kuombea watu wawili. Kama kuna watu wawili hapa wangelipenda kuombewa ili kwamba wahisi uwepo wa Roho Mtakatifu watu wawili wakuje hapa awaombe. Okay, those who want two persons who want to be filled with the Holy Spirit come forward. Watu wawili ambao wangelipenda kujaza na Roho Mtakatifu mmoja hapa mbele muombe. I demonstrate praying for you. Yaani yeye anaonyesha jinsi ya kuwaombea. And then we'll pray together. Alafu sasa tutaomba pamoja sisi. And lay hand on as many as I can. Na atawawekea mikono wale ambao watahitaji. Okay, anyone pray for people who just relax. Tunapoombea watu wewe una 
unajiachilia and think of the love of Jesus unafikiri kuhusu upendo wa Kristo Jesus is loving us Yesu anatupenda and I love Jesus na unampenda Yesu and I just say words of love to Jesus na sasa nitazungumza maneno ya upendo kwa Kristo Yesu the Holy Spirit will come upon us hapo roho mtakatifu atashuka and we can feel the presence of God tunaweza tukahisi uwepo wa Mungu and then we will tell them you know if we talking to someone So do you want Jesus to bless you? Na sasa kama unazungumza na mtu unamwambia ungelipenda Yesu Kristo kukubariki? If you want then close your eyes. Kama ungelipenda Yesu akubariki hebu kafumbe macho yako. Believe that Jesus want to bless you now. Amini kwamba Yesu anataka kukubariki sasa. And relax. Na ukajiachilie. And then when we pray just say simple prayers. Na unapoomba omba tu maombi rahisi. Just from the heart we love Jesus. Ya kwamba kutoka katika moyo wako unampenda Yesu. Hallelujah. You can stand up together and pray together. Naomba tusimame wote ili tuombe kwa pamoja. Think of the love of Jesus. Sasa anza kufikiri kuhusu upendo wa Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Haleluya. Yesu. Yesu 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 Jesus is so wonderful. Yes, I love Jesus. Nakupenda Yesu. I need Jesus. Nakuhitaji Yesu. Oh, welcome Jesus. Karibu Yesu. Welcome Jesus. Karibu Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Yesu. 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 Yesu is right here. Yesu yuko hapa saizi. Yesu comes to bless us. Yesu amekuja kutubariki. We open our heart to Yesu. Unapomfungua moyo wako kwa Yesu. We welcome Yesu. Tunakukaribisha Yesu. Come Lord Jesus. Njoo Bwana Yesu. Come Lord Jesus. Njoo Bwana Yesu. Touch our lives. Uza maisha yetu. Heal our lives. Ponya maisha yetu. Set us free. Tuweke huru. Welcome Jesus. Karibu Yesu. Welcome Jesus. Karibu Yesu. Come Holy Spirit. Njoo Roho Mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, 